Homa. We'll close out with this. Baker Mayfield. I know you saw the tweet. I know you saw yes. it. Baker Mayfield puts up a tweet on Friday. Now, this we talked on last week's show, or one of the shows, about the horns down uh, ruling from the officiating. Like, it, it'll probably be a penalty if you do it to another player. It probably won't be a penalty if you do it to your own crowd or whatever, but, you know, we're, we're going to leave it up to the officials. Baker Mayfield tweeted out, NSFW, not safe for work. He said, the following content might offend some viewers, the mentally weak ones, of course. And he put hashtag boomer, hashtag zebras protecting longhorns, and put a ton of different pictures of him doing the horns down. I love the amount of trolling. He's been in the NFL for, what, three years now? Uh, no, this is fourth year. This, so, yeah, this, he's going into his fourth year. So, he's been yeah, in the go, NFL so for three years. he's been in the NFL for three years. Yeah. Yes, that's probably a correct statement. Sorry. Still, still hates Texas to this day and ain't ever going to let it go, I don't think. But this well, is... I mean, it's easy to hate on a team that's this fragile, that this is emotionally yes. soft. Uh, zebras protecting Longhorns. Called them weak-minded. Uh, yeah. it, it cracks me up. Absolutely cracks me up to no end. Like, I, we're going to see more horns down this year than I think we've ever seen. And it, it became, yeah. like, a big story a couple of years ago. But it is, it's going to be massive this year. So, my, I, I, my question is, is what if the Oklahoma player throws the horns up after doing a great play? Is that mocking? Is that, is that taunting if well, I throw depends the horns on if he, up at I, them? I guess it depends on if he does it to – like a Texas player or <laughs> no, hang on, no, but hang on, hang on. But it's not, it's not a negative thing, right? It's not a negative thing. Uh, it's, up. it's not I, horns down. Well, I, I think like you had, you're going to so count you score a touchdown and you run over a linebacker and then that linebacker gets up and gets in your face and you throw the horns up at him. What well, is that a penalty? Cause I'm, it's not horns down. It's horns. Up. I think, I think the crazy thing is that we are going to expect referees to somehow determine intent. And well, the intent from every opposing player is negative. Agreed. But you're gonna you're gonna expect the referees to judge on this. And I just think it puts them in a bad spot. Like, there's no reason that they should ever be throwing a flag for horns up, horns down, whatever. Like it's just stupid. I, I'm very I'm very curious. The only thing I care about with this is if it affects the outcome of games. Okay. Yes. If if you're in a one score back and forth battle and in a team, you know, whatever somebody gets excited first downs, and, yeah. They they throw the horns down, they make a big play, and then like you just you just got an interception or not an interception, maybe not a turnover, but like a big third down play that's gonna make it, you know, third and or fourth and like 18 fourth and 25 something ridiculous okay and you throw the horns down and now all of a sudden now they get an automatic first down at 15 yards and, and then they go on like. to score and they go on to win the game like a, a super close one score game at some point in time what are we doing yeah we're, we're literally gonna let your like your jazz hands decide the the, the outcome of games like we're, we're gonna let spirit fingers do that i mean what are we doing like my rule is this if you don't like it that's it. All hand gestures are all now gang signs. Okay. They're all banned. And, and it, it, you know, you, you can't do the guns up. That's a gang sign. Like that's a, that's a hate crime, brother. We're not doing that anymore. Like, <laughs> like if you're, if you're Houston and you throw up the shocker and, and whatever, then, you know, nope, nope, you're out. Like we're not doing that, but this is stupid. This is so, yes. this is so ridiculous. Yes, I agree. I agree. It's so dumb. I, I do like I do like Baker trolling them though. Oh like, yes. Baker's definitely endearing himself to me. You know I'm not a big Oklahoma fan, but you know Baker's my guy, and he's definitely winning his way into my heart even more because he, he, you you take somebody now you got to be a big boy. All right, I don't oh, yes. I never punch down. Don't like doing that. But you take a big boy franchise, you take a big boy program like Texas, who's super thin skinned and being really bitchy about stuff. And you troll the shit out of them for that? Oh, oh. It's I, all on. That is that is how you get into my heart, my friend. 
Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.